It's your resident Do Fanatic, and we are back again to look at the next installment of the new Game Fuel line from Mountain Dew and Amp. Last time we took a look at the Charged Berry Blast flavor, which was reminiscent of the Berry Monsoon that's available exclusively at Sam's Club. Wow, that sounded really dry. <laughs> It sounded like I was uh, almost a paid promotion, which it's not, but I definitely wouldn't mind receiving that, uh, you find folks at Pepsi. But uh, I digress. We are going to be looking at the next flavor, like I said, and as with the berry flavor, the original Dew, charged original Dew Game Fuel, which is a part of the Mountain Dew Amp crossover line, this flavor uh, like an energy drink, is packed with B vitamins, and it's served up in a rather expensive can. Now this one's uh, 90 calories, so again, it's following the patterns that we've seen from recent flavors of Mountain Dew within the past couple of years, where they've tended to use sucralose to reduce the actual amount of sugar content, which worked okay with the last flavor, and it's worked okay with other flavors, but it's it's not a, a desirable thing in most of the flavors. The flavor just sort of abruptly ends. But it seems in this one that we're looking at a, another one similar to the Kickstart that came out, where it's just a basis for the original Mountain Dew flavor to be sort of redesigned and made to fit this particular line of drinks, but I'll give you a decent look at the can here for Game Fuel. And as you can note there, we've got 90 calories in this one, so I think it's going to be roughly the same with all of them. And as with the berry flavor, there's this new resealable tab here that you have to open up. And for the charge of uh, you know, like 250 per can. I got it on sale, but I mean, that's what they're selling them for at gas stations. I don't think this is a worthwhile feature, but I'm gonna go for it again. Okay, got a little bit less splash damage on this one, thankfully. And in our last review, I definitely made the mistake of trying to show the color without using a glass like I had in previous videos, so I'm not gonna be an idiot this time. Though I'd say it makes for Rather well comedic effect. Yeah, it looks just like original do. So I'm gonna sit this down here for a second and actually close up the can. Hey, making use of it already. Yeah, it's uh, it tastes just like original do, except it's less sweet. So it's borderline diet without the terrible aftertaste. So it's kind of just you know a de-escalation of the flavor, unfortunately. But it's not bad. It's just not worth, in my opinion, the upcharge that they have on this for you know the can and it just being a different line, you know, a variation. So I mean, if you're watching sugar intake, which I mean, quite honestly. Drinking Mountain Dew is not the best way to do it. This is an option. Yeah. Not a bad flavor, but... You know, with Game Fuel, I'm not expecting the original Dew. I'm expecting something inspired by the original Dew, but to give me a different sort of flavor, a different sort of zest that uh, we don't really see from the proper or the uh, respective line of... Of Mountain Dew. So, this one, I don't know, it just falls flat, unfortunately. So, I think the berry flavor is the better of the two I've tried so far. We still have a tropical flavor and a cherry one to try out. So, as with the berry flavor, I'd like to know what uh, you all think if you had a chance to try it. If not, um, if, if you've had the original Dew Kickstart flavor, in, in a way you've kind of already had this. It, you've just had it without the uh, surplus of B vitamins and possible extra caffeine. I don't, I'm not sure about the exact numbers, so I, I can't make the comparison. But 
it's it's not bad. It's just it's just a redesigned original do. So it, it lacks that inspiration and creativity that I expect from the line. So I imagine that I'll like the remaining flavors better than this one, but I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way and just uh, inform the people. So if you've enjoyed, please do engage, sub, and like the video, and make sure to drop a line in the chat and just, you know, say some words. And as always, do the do.